All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about sexting during the pandemic. Should you do it? Shouldn't you do it? Are you already doing it? Let's go ahead and get into it. What is good? What is good? What is good? Ladies and gentlemen, of course, you know who I be. Good doc. Dr. Mike TV back again. Once again, ready to have this conversation with you guys. I think that it is long overdue. I've never really heard of too many people talking about this particular subject matter. So I definitely wanted to dive into it. Now, many people such as myself probably are in a long distance relationship in reference to you living in a certain country and you're probably in talks with or considered to be in a relationship with a woman from another country, maybe Philippines, maybe Korea, wherever it may be. And this pandemic has really messed up your traveling plans. OK, maybe you thought that you may have been able to see your significant other a little bit sooner than you've been able to. Maybe you haven't been able to make the trip yet. Maybe you're not going to be able to make the first time trip until this upcoming year. But you guys have been talking for a significant amount of time. OK, so in this particular video, I wanted to create the dialogue about sexting or, you know, having intimacy through the use of uh, social media or anything like that with your significant other. All right. Since you guys can't really be in the exact same place at this particular moment. So there are two ways that the relationship can build its foundation from in reference to who you're with. Either you've already consummated the relationship or you have not <laughs> consummated the relationship. Some of you guys have pending relationships, somebody you're in talks with, you know, you're trying to see if you could take it to the next level, but the next level would actually be meeting in person and you're just not able to do that yet. But you're comfortable enough with her. She's comfortable enough with you where you guys are at least able to have certain types of conversations. Now, when it comes to sexting, in my personal opinion, we're all adults here. Let's go ahead and get it out the way. There's two ways you could do it. Number one, it could be verbal. All right. A lot of words, a lot of wordplay, word talking, all the things you want to do to each other, something to build up the uh, build up the hormones, you know, estrogen, get it all going and shit. You know, maybe <laughs> she chooses to do a little bit of self pleasure. All right. Then you have the video call version where and you guys are face to face interacting with one another. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you show her a little something, something. She shows you a little something, something and you guys get off that way. There are two different ways you can do it. But in this particular video, I want to talk about should you be doing it? Um, are you comfortable doing it? What you should do to you know protect yourself and things like that <laughs> in this particular um, point of view. Now, I will use my personal relationship as a foundational point for me and me only in my opinion i do not do that with my young lady okay now again i want to make sure that i lay the foundation me and my young lady been in a relationship for many many years should i ask her to partake in said activity i doubt she will deny okay but the only reason why i don't do this is because i'm a paranoid type of guy the last thing I need is an image or a video of my young lady circulating the Internet in her most honest moments, you know, because somebody hacked my phone or something like that. You know, things like that really stick out in my mind because, you know, the Internet's a crazy, crazy place. And uh, people have, you know, <laughs> some serious, serious software that could really get a hold of like videos or images or even hack into your VC call with your significant other. And, you know, I don't know, screen record or whatever. So I've kind of just opted out of it for myself personally. And that's just for good reason from that paranoia standpoint. Again, I've been with my young lady for a while. We know each other inside and out for the most part. Okay? So that's really something I haven't really needed or wanted to do, even though I'm in the United States. And of course, she's back in the Philippines. But for yourself, I think that. You know, it's definitely worth having the conversation with your young lady about it. It's definitely worth seeing where her head is around it. A lot of girls are shy to do it. I've learned that a lot of girls just aren't really willing to do it. I mean, maybe a couple of sexy pictures here and there. Always a good start. I mean, that could definitely lead into something. I've actually known girls that don't necessarily like pictures, but would rather do a video call because, 
you know, once the call is over, it's over. But a picture, my goodness, it lasts forever. You know, and even though they say you delete something, they say it's never really truly deleted. You know, so a lot of girls are probably going to be more so OK with a video call, maybe flashing a little something here and there, um, as opposed to uh, doing um, I say sending pictures and things like that. So for me and who you're with or your significant other, it definitely depends on her vibe. How she feels about it like how comfortable she is with you and how comfortable she is with showing off her body so you definitely should have that conversation with her if that's something that you think would create a healthier <laughs> type of relationship between you and your significant other i mean it's definitely worth the conversation um should you be doing it like i said that depends on you i'm pretty sure <laughs> I hate to say this out loud, but a lot of us are probably not shy to send pictures of our manhood to other females. I mean, I'm not going to lie, myself included, I'm guilty. I've done it before, okay? I'm a grown man. I've done it before. I'm pretty sure there's images of the good doc's manhood floating around the internet all over the place. Who knows? My face is not included in there, <laughs> so likely you won't know it's me. So, I mean, I've never really shied away from it. Now, I don't necessarily just send it out there. <laughs> unless it's permissed or at least she knows it's coming because last thing you want to do is if you're in a relationship don't just <laughs> or talking to somebody i should say not even just in a relationship but the last thing you want to do is just blast a picture of your manhood without warning okay trust me i've had situations where girls have told me that guys will just send a picture of it it wasn't warranted it wasn't asked for anything like that and you know Maybe she's with friends or something, or maybe she's out and about, and she just so happens to check her phone, not knowing that it's going to be a picture of your manhood, and it it it, it turns things south very quickly. And some for, and for some young ladies, it definitely is a turn off to be doing things like that. So you just have to understand the nature of your young lady, the nature of your significant other. If this is a relationship, if it's just some girl that you know you're just trying to you know get a couple of pictures from or something like that. <sighs> Might have to send some money. <laughs> okay, I'll just throw that out there. Might have to send some money. You know, baby girl probably give you the time of your life virtually. All right. So when it comes to sexting during the pandemic, if it's really worth it, do it. I mean, X video on Pornhub still exists as far as I know. <laughs> so if you need to get your rocks off, you can always go to those particular sites, those free sites. But myself, personally, I want something personal, you know, you know, if I'm going to get something, I want it personal. I want something that's specifically tailored for me. You know what I mean, because it just makes you feel like this girl is willing to open herself up to me, share something intimate with me. And hopefully, prayerfully, she ain't sharing that with nobody else. So how you feel about sexting during the pandemic? Like I said, you're not able to see her now. Probably not going to be able to see her in the next couple of months or so even in the upcoming years to come depending on how travel restrictions will continue to be in the months to come but what you can say is you know hey i got this young lady and me and her we sit and we have conversations every evening she got her own little private spot where you and her can you know partake in said activity and for the most part and for many of you guys myself included i do believe that it suffices for the moment okay that's what I have noticed. It's enough to get you through in the moment. I mean, if you're living in the United States or in any particular Western country and you can honestly look at yourself in the mirror and say you really have no want or desire to really be around and or date or entertain women from your own particular home country, it'll probably be a whole lot easier for you to just chill, sit back, relax and enjoy, you know, a little cam time with your young lady. All right. Don't hurt, man. It don't hurt myself. Like I said, guys, I don't partake in it because I'm paranoid as hell. Um, but like I said, if some chick wants to drop me a, a nice picture or something, hey, <laughs> let me stop before I get in trouble. But uh, Facebook uh, Messenger down below. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just fucking with y'all. It's just like I said, man, sometimes you got to deal with what you can at the moment. OK, so what I want to encourage you guys to think about. I mean, I don't know if you're talking to anybody. If you're not, I mean, Sometimes if you see something online that really intrigues the hell out of you, I mean, ain't nothing going to hurt you to go for it, is it? Just see where the chips may lie. All right. I just want to tell you a couple of things if it's brand new 
and you're trying to get involved in the sexting type of uh, situation, number one, don't be aggressive. Number two, don't be so blunt with the like in the next two texts, <laughs> you're automatic. You're starting to ask for pictures and stuff like that. Give it some time. You know what I'm saying? Play it smooth. See, feel her out a little bit. Hey, and if you feel like she's down for the get down, you can always ask. I mean, the worst she can say is no. Learn that. I, you just got to learn that, man. The worst a chick could tell you is no. But likely if y'all have been talking and this is your young lady, chances are she will likely oblige. I feel that. So again, should you do it? Should you not do it? Particularly up to you. Me, myself, not quite with my young lady. But I just wanted to have this quick conversation with you guys. I think that, you know, sexting is something that is healthy in a relationship if you want to know the truth. It's healthy, especially in a long distance relationship, guys. I want you to understand that long distance relationships ain't easy, bro. And I've been at this for a long, long time. Longer than I care to admit to. But like I said, man, the perks of being in an LDR personally, just for me, I can only speak for myself. You know, I know that I have something waiting for me when I go back to the Philippines. And I can honestly say I feel just a personal feeling that my young lady is loyal to the homie, that my young lady is down for the cause. And I mean, like I said, that's all it takes to keep a man moving and keep a man pushing, keep a man on his grind and keep the grind on his mind. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you do what you can for you and for those that, for lack of a better term, might depend on you. All right. Ain't nothing wrong with having a little fun in the meantime, in between times, since y'all can't be together. And trust me, you, you'll never know. You'll never know the. Uh, the parameters that the expansion of your relationship can go if you don't ask certain questions, man. Women will be definitely down to do some things, especially if they trust you, especially if they got something for you, especially if, you know, they feel something towards you. You never know what these chicks would do for you. I'm not telling you to abuse that, but definitely keep it under consideration. Keep that into consideration, all right? Stay blessed. Stay true. It's been a good doc. With that being said, good doc is officially out. At least knuckle. Bye, them. Which means I am going now. Uh, bye bye. As always, love you guys. Sincerely do. Mahakita. Mabuhai. Peace.